Welcome to New Station at E3 Realty with your hosts, Nick and Percy. Hey guys, 2024, thank you guys for joining us for our first uh, new station. We got a brand new set here at E3 Realty and Loans. What you think, Nick? Man, we're back. We got a promotion, no raise. What's that mean, Verse? That means that we get to do more work mm -hmm. and, and more work. And more work, same price, <laughs> yeah. which was free to begin with. So we need you to subscribe to our new station, yes. please. We're gonna bring you guys more up-to-date information, a lot less numbers, more of me and Verse. Who doesn't like that? Absolutely, smash that like button. Hey, Nick, guess what? Home prices are forecast to climb. What do you think about that? I think it's fantastic for our homeowners and for people not in the market yet. By 2028, we're expecting 4% equity growth in your home. Obviously, it's gonna start and just continue to boop, 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 boop. So with our buyers out there, tell them what they should be doing right now first. Getting in right now, get ready right now. Let's get you pre-approved so that way you are ready to go. You can take advantage of the appreciation that's forecasted for the next five years. Okay, Nick, so we talked about home appreciation going up, mm -hmm. but what about the inventory? How are we going to handle the inventory issue that we have right now? Well, I got something for you guys. So the national average of new home builds is right at 12%. Right now, we're seeing that 31% of the inventory is new builds. What does that mean for the buyers out there or people that want to sell and then relocate to a new area? There's more options. It's so crucial for you guys not to forget about the new build options when you're out doing your house hunting and to be able to expand your search in there. There's also a lot of great programs and incentives out there for new builds. So it's a fantastic route to go to. Absolutely. There's... But before you do that verse, right, what do you need to do? You got to get pre-approved. You got to get pre-approved. You got anything on the lending we side for us? We're talking about door knocking. We're not talking about door knocking. Okay. We got to get pre-approved. So that's what's, that's what's going to allow you to be able to know exactly, you know, what you can do in terms of your buying power, what your budget is. So let's make sure that we get that handled for you and then we can get you exploring some of those options of new bills. Hey, you know, with those new bills, there's some opportunities too also for, for some uh, new loans as well. The California Dream for All, Cal Health Dream for All program is coming back. It's gonna be back in April. So you wanna get, make sure that you get your loan application approved, get your documents in so that we can get you ready for that program. Take advantage of the new, vi new build, take advantage of the Dream for All program as well. That was fantastic, my man. So new year, we got a new segment. This one is called Key terms every home buyer should learn. Verse? Key term, affordability. It's a measure of whether someone earns enough to qualify for a loan on a typical home based on the most recent price, income, and mortgage rate data. When home prices and mortgage rates are higher, it can impact affordability. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the new set as much as we do. And as always, we'll see you guys next month with more information on real estate, the market, of course, mortgage, and more key terms every buyer should learn. We'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll catch you on the next one.